Hello there my music lovers, I'm Joshua the File Heaven and today we are having a look at Tone 2 Pro from Kada Audio. This is probably the smallest DAXS headphone amplifier that I've purchased in my entire life and I paid for it 275 euros or the equivalent of 350 US dollars. So let's get down with this tiny unboxing. This is a really tiny box and everything you really receive inside is the DAX the headphone amplifier. I won't be using their cable. I don't need their cable, it's too short. I need a longer cable because the connectors are on the back of my computer and from there they must transverse about two meters until they reach my desk, so yeah. This is the smallest, most tiny DAX slash headphone amplifier made by Kada Audio. This is the Tone 2 Pro. It has a fully metallic shape. It has an RCA output at the back a coaxial input, I2S and USB inputs, all in Type-C, besides the coaxial, which is in a, an RCA jack. And it has two headphone outputs, one in 3.5 millimeters and one in 4.4 millimeters balance. So the first question that I got about this was about the volume wheel. The volume wheel can interact with the volume, but you can also leave it at maximum because it will allow Windows to have its own volume too. So you don't really need to use this volume control. I'm saying this because the volume control turns very heavily and because the unit is so small, you will actually turn the unit before you turn the volume. <laughs> this has been my experience. The unit has a pretty hefty price tag and I've read the Amazon user complaints. I have noticed a few people mentioning that it can run a bit warm and indeed it runs a bit warm. It is quite hard to detach while it is running. It also drains some power from your desktop computer or from your portable. If you connect it to a tablet or a smartphone, it will drain some power, but it has a ton of driving power, which is excellent. And to be honest, I would prefer it having enough driving power and draining some power from this source rather than having too little driving power. The aesthetic is beautiful. I really like the overall build. It is so angular and so mathematically done. I like the Kada Stone 2 Pro. It has a really solid build quality. This is an entire slab of metal. There is no flex, no problem. And they do quote that the ports on the back are RCA balanced. And uh, not only I don't have cables for RCA balance, I was concerned that they won't work with nothing I have in the house. So I connected them to my current setup and they work. So they work with normal RCA connectors too. And it didn't burn out. So I don't see a problem using them that. The Kada Stone 2 Pro has a very natural, very clean sound. It is extremely clean. So especially for users that are considering upgrading from your MacBook and Macintosh kind of devices to this, you will feel that it is more analytical, more detailed, and that it has a much better clarity than those, but it will sound more clinical and brighter because MacBook and Macintosh in general tends to use Wolfson ducts, which have a smoother, warmer signature. I have noticed that the Kada Stone 2 Pro is somewhat sensitive sensitive to source quality, so if you have a noisy USB port, that noise will be transferred to the sound in Kada Stone 2 Pro, so you should be using it with the best USB ports you have on your computer. For example, using it with the USB ports in the front of my computer, so in the front of the case, results in a pretty noisy overall experience. It has quite a high overall noise floor. It also has some distortions, but using it with the USB 3.2 ports in the back, all clean, all good, no problemo. I like the overall sound of it and I've been using it mostly balanced with headphones like the Sandy Audio Peacock. I have also used it with uh, Haifeman Sundara, with Avantuan Pro Planar, with IIIT Mi A2 series of headphones. And you can see that I've just received two new headphones from Haifeman, the R9, which is wireless, of course. It is like an upgraded version of Deva. I'm really excited about that one. And the Edition XS, which is like a mini Aria Mini Ananda kinda. I'm curious to hear both of them. I have not opened them yet, which is why I have the packages in the back. <laughs> Ooh. I do think that the Kada Stone 2 Pro is an interesting unit. I do think that uh, it has a pretty nice sound and I do think that the company makes a compelling offer with this product. It is tiny, it is convenient. You can actually put it in your pocket and be done with it. You can strap it to a smartphone, although it looks a bit weird and some people might stop you on the street and ask you, what is that? The only features that I wish it had 
where like I wish it had a separate output for a subwoofer so that it can be a multimedia center. But that is a bit too much to ask for a unit that is this tiny and it already grows a bit warm during usage. So if it had that future, it would probably grow even hotter, which would be a bit of a problem. I don't think that it grows too hot for using it practically. I think that the temperature is high, but it is not too high that it will shorten its usable life. I do think that the overall build quality is fun and I do think that having it on your desk is kind of fun because it is so tiny you can barely notice. If you notice, I just upgraded my display, the Samsung TV I was using as a monitor and the new one is actually larger and it has lower space between the desk and the bottom part of the display. So I needed something small that would fit in there. For example, I usually I'm using a stack of music players to listen to music and those are in front of the TV. But this one has enough space even beneath it. This is how tiny it is. So yeah, I feel like this has a ton of potential. I do feel that it is slightly underexplored because the company doesn't really have enough overall marketing and they don't market it enough for how good it is. They just leave it to users to express their opinions. I also left an Amazon review on Amazon.de Deutschland because I'm in Romania and I cannot order from Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk because using either of those for me at least is going to inquire me a higher VAT or value added tax than uh, if using the Amazon De or Deutschland. If you order this after watching my video review, I really hope that you will be using the Amazon links in the video description because they help me survive, they help me make me videos and they help me pay for all the electricity needed to run all of this stuff. Oof, the, elect the electricity bill can be quite high, especially in the summer because in the summer we need to use air conditioning. This place grows very hot, much hotter than this unit will ever be. And uh, yeah, that is a bit of a trouble. Now, comparing the Kada Stone 2 Pro to other DAC slash headphone amplifiers, it has a more neutral type of signature than the Airman Trump. The Airman Trump has a slightly warmer type of signature. Airman Trump also has a slightly lower maximum power. And this one has a slightly higher maximum power, which means that it will be able to drive slightly harder to drive headphones, which is fun to say about a unit that is this tiny, but it will grow considerably warmer compared to the Airman Trump, which for which temperature wasn't that much of an issue. I do like having this volume button, but I actually did not touch it ever since getting the unit. I preferred using the volume on my Windows machine because I do think that having a physical volume isn't this convenient when it is so hard to turn it. I tried to play with it to see if I can make it turn easier, but so far nothing worked. It will also turn infinitely, so you can simply turn it to the maximum and leave it like that. This is what I do recommend about the Kada Stone 2 Pro. Comparing the Kada Stone 2 Pro to something like the Ify XDSD, the Kada Stone 2 Pro has a better desktop usage because it has RCA outputs on the back. It also has a coaxial input. Compared to the XDSD, it has no RCA out. This being said, the XDSD has a bass boost, which the Kada Stone 2 Pro does not have. And the XDSD has a 3D soundstage. It's like a treble boost mostly. It's a treble boost that adds some soundstage width. But this one doesn't have that either. So if you are going to tune your music using the Kada Stone 2 Pro, you are probably best using the equalizer in FUBAR 2000 or using the equalizer in VLC Media Player or something like the equalizer Apo for Windows, you need to use a third party equalizer. That is the point. You cannot use any equalizer embedded in the unit, which may be slightly uncomfortable for some users, especially if you are not one of those power users. The FXDSD made, made things much easier. I also do think that the XDSD is mainly touted to those users who want to use it portably. The XDSD is not made as much for desktop users, especially as it keeps taking in power and the battery will eventually degrade compared to the Kada Stone 2 Pro, which has no embedded battery and just drains as much power as it requires. The Kada Stone 2 Pro is going to be more sensitive to a noisy USB source, which may be a bit of an issue, especially if you have a poor quality laptop or a poor quality computer, especially if the motherboard isn't exactly the best. While the XD has better USB isolation, so it will take in much less USB port noise than the Kada Stone 2 Pro. If you are wondering whether the company designed the balanced output to be different from the single ended output, the answer is yes. No company designs those to be exactly the same. There will always be differences. And I feel like on the Tone 2 Pro, the balanced output has better overall driving power. It has better dynamics. It has a more forward sound, also slightly more detailed. And in general, I do recommend using the balanced output where possible. They also went with the larger 4.4 millimeters format, which is good because this one is more resistant to 
usage because it is physically larger and they went with the single and the 3.5 millimeter format which is the most universal type. I was able to drive something, I was able to drive Hyphiman Sundara out of the single ended output though so it is not much of an issue for it with the driving power but the overall control and definition and clarity and dynamics were better from the 4.4 millimeter balanced output. Although there was a company with a similar name like Kadas who made headphones, if I remember correctly, planar magnetic headphones. That company was from India, while well, this one is from China. They don't have any connection as far as I can tell, and the Kadas that makes the Tone 2 Pro is strictly situated in China and makes those adapters. They also make some computer components and they make more of those backslash headphone amplifiers, and I hope that they will stay in business because the, their products have good overall price performance ratio and they have a nice aesthetic. I hope that my video also had a nice aesthetic. I hope you enjoyed your time on Audiophile Heaven. I also hope you'll consider leaving a like on this video. Also press subscribe for more content from me from Audiophile Heaven. I do hope that you have the most lovely, best weeks out there with your friends, with your loved ones. I hope that you'll get to spend time outdoors, to have fun, to enjoy music and to enjoy life. And I hope that I'll see you soon and that you'll come to other videos if you need more opinion on audio products and more. Bye bye!